Hey guys, so I'm gonna go through sort of the starting process of the member meeting. So taking our weight, sort of taking our measurements and sort of taking the before and after pictures, so to say. So if you see I've got Jen here to be my virus assistant. Here she is, Wolf Dragon. So first we're gonna go through guys is the scale. So we're gonna first off by taking our weight. So the important thing to remember about this is making sure that the time that you take your weight is consistent through the week. So whether you do it, make weight yourself once a week, twice a week, three times a week, you gotta make sure it's the same time of the day each time. Just so you've got a consistent sort of result. So first thing in the morning is probably the best time to do it. Yeah, so first thing in the morning, get onto the scales, make a note of what we're doing, and then go from there. Okay, so if you see, Jen's gonna put it a step on, or if you take the weight, whatever it may be, not the 12 issues, been working out a lot now. <laughs> so, right, see, Jen's just took the weight, again, we'll then note that down on sort of your week one or whatever sort of system you work in, note that down, and go from there. So, so another thing, sort of, whilst taking your weight to consider, guys, is making sure you're either wearing the same amount of clothes every time you weigh yourself or do it in your underwear. The easiest way is to do it in your underwear because you probably wake up in your underwear, drunk on the scales, job done. Other things to consider is where to take your weight. So I would always say, or we would always say, have the scales on a hard, solid, flat floor, just so you get the most consistent sort of weight, weight I would say. So from here, we're gonna talk, talk about taking our progress pictures. So we're gonna go from front, side, and back, and we're gonna go week one, or whatever, how you wanna do it. So we we'll go week one, week four, week eight, so you got good amount of time to make some results before you then take your pictures again. So if you keep taking them sort of every three days or every week, you might not see the little changes. It's only when you sort of compare week one to week eight where you sort of really see how hard you've been working. So nice and simple, just gonna stay in shot. So when we take these pictures, again, as, as Jen mentioned before, don't stick your chest out, don't make yourself just be nice and relaxed, okay? No matter what your posture is, because we do want to see those posture changes as well. So you might start out slightly bunched, but by week eight, you might be full up, full standing, you might even grow an inch or so, okay? So you see from the side, we'll push all the way around, and then nice and easy from the back. So we're just taking three pictures all together. Nothing too crazy, but just enough that we can see some progression through the weeks. Right then guys, so moving on, sort of taking your measurements. Obviously, once you're in a member meeting, the lovely Jen or whoever's taking the meeting will do your measurements for you, but just in case you need to do them at home or alone or you want to do it by yourself, here's sort of what we have to do. So if we start with our arm, so Jen's going to sort of measure bicep, get them guns out. So as you can see, she's created sort of fist in the crease of her arm here. So all we're going to do, once you've got that crease here, we're going to take the measurement from the top of that finger. So as you can see, if I just hold that there for Jen, she's going to pop her fist into the crease. As you can see, fist there takes just around. So that is exactly where you would measure every time. So don't use someone else's hand each time, use your own hand. So your hand size ain't going to change unless you're 10 years old. So just bow your hand into the crease, measure around the top of the hand every time. Okay, and we're moving on to sort of taking the chest measurement. So Jen's got a good little tip for your hand of how to sort of measure the chest area in the best way, so. Okay, so with your tape measure, place it across your nipple line and just hold it into place. Then take a big deep breath in. And fully exhale, just so you can pull it a little bit tighter so you've got all the air out of your lungs. And then you've got a true reading there. Cool, so another, another thing to consider as well, whilst Obviously taking your measurements is making sure the tape stays flat against the body. We don't want any twists. So again, that could all increase it. Even if it's by an inch or so, that inch can make a lot of difference. So moving on to the next body part, we're gonna to go to the waist. So just what we do with the, with the waist measurement is just above the belly button. That's where we sort of measure. So we go around again, Jen's making sure the, the, the tape is nice and flat around the body. If Jen just does a little turn, she'll be able to see sort of where it sits, so you can see just, just sort of above the lower back, that sort of area there, and that's where we need to take that measurement. So that's measurement number three. And on that, try and be true to yourself. Don't hold your tummy in, because I know yeah. lots of people think, oh, quick breathe in, <laughs> but it's not gonna help yourself. 
exactly, then spot on. So that's the waist, moving on to a hip. So this one, people sort to get seem to get sort of weird to place the tape in the wrong position. You can see Jen spot on straight away. So I'd say just sort of below the belt line, that sort of area there. So from here, as you can see, tape's nice and flat. It's gonna sit around the meatiest part of your buttocks, okay? So the meatiest part, not the top, not the bottom, right at that meatiest part. Cool, so that's how we take the, the hips measurement on so please. So we're gonna move on to the quads, okay? So our thigh. So little trick for this one, guys, is we're gonna make sort of a phone scene. So as you can see me and Jen doing it, so all you're gonna do is place your little finger at the top of your kneecap, okay? So not too far down. You want it at the top of the kneecap. And then you measure around the top of the thumb. So if I drop down here, so from here, you see top of the thumb every time. So no matter if you do it on week four or week eight, it's gonna be the same position you take that measurement from every time, because it's your hand. Okay, so phone position at the top of the kneecap, take the tape around sort of the tip of the thumb, and that is how we go about taking your measurements for your body.